everybody. And this is where they play the Eastern football Thanksgiving Day. Yes, it is where they play the Eastern uh, Thanksgiving Day football game. You know, this is a lot of history. It's called the longest playing high school football rivalry in the country. Uh, and I played in this game. For three years, I played in this game. And someday, you're going to play in this game, right? Yeah. You know, I think every town has a special day. And for us, it's a Thanksgiving Day football game. And it's a tradition of two towns separated by a river that come together to play in the college stadium because no high school stadium could possibly hold everybody. <laughs> Oh yes, <laughs> that was the big day in Easton, beating Peaberg. Everybody wanted to beat Peaberg. <laughs> Everybody else in the rest of the world, Thanksgiving Day, is waking up to a sleepy morning, reading a paper, maybe watching a football game on TV, and then sitting around with their family for a turkey dinner. Oh, that's terrific. I don't, I don't put that down. But boy, they ought to spend a weekend in Easton at that time of year. out of the locker room and walk down that, that hill to, the, to get onto the field and people would start roaring. And there were 20,000 at, at that time. You know, the whole walk down was, and it really, it really sent, the, sent, sent in the real uh, ecstasy and, and excitement about the game. But that particular game started at one o'clock and uh, it probably had the largest crowd of the series. With, uh, Terry Bartlett was our main featured star. Both schools came into that contest undefeated. Easton came through and won the game 26-6. But it capped off a year uh, in Easton High football that I'll never forget. We had a, a fantastic team. We had guys like Terry Barlett, Peter Merrickis, Bob Renner, Bob Thomas, uh, Dave Cooper, uh, myself, of course, I can't leave myself out. And we were just a, a, a bunch of kids that were hard-nosed, loved to play football, tough, and were determined to go undefeated that year. And we had a great coach in Bob Root.
great thing being a player for Easton. You'll never yeah. forget it. One thing I've noticed uh, in my lifetime, I've been in probably every state uh, and have attended a lot of different sports uh, contests. Never have I seen the participation or a tradition similar to the Easton Phillipsburg football game. The Easton and Peabody games were special because that rivalry has been going for years and years and years. My mother tells me all the way back to the time when she graduated in 1918. So it's, it's been a long rivalry with, with Phil Sands. My junior and senior year when I started for Easton back in 81 and 82, they were long days because we got shut out and beat badly both years. <laughs> so it wasn't the best experience on the field. But uh, I remember going to the games as a kid and uh, going with my father and uh, watching all the high school players and just thought, wow, someday maybe I'll be there. Actually, we, we're from Phillipsburg, but now we all live over here. I, I live in Palmer Township now. My brother lives on, on the hill here. I have friends that have moved clear across the country. My sister went to Notre Dame High School, the Catholic High School, goes away to college, moves to San Diego, California, and calls me Sunday night to find out if Easton won or did Phillipsburg win, not knowing anybody on either team, just her way of tying herself to uh, the whole tradition. I mean, this is a game at the end of the game, win or lose, applause for everybody. My daughter, Rebecca, and her husband, Michael, have a party before the game, and they have a party after the game, regardless of whether Easton beat Peaberg or not. <laughs> That's right. Well, my mother, I lived, I was born and raised across the street. Right across my the street. mother always, always did it, and always had open house, Thanksgiving, and it's just a tradition that's carried on. We enjoy it. My brother-in-law was football coach for 20 years at Easton, and he, my sister lives next door, and uh, it's always been. And my brothers, and their wives, and their kids, and all they come up to, they, it's just a great time. It's family get-together. East and it wasn't by accident, it was because of the history and the intensity of this rivalry. I can tell you I have been to games with newborn babies being held by their great-great-grandparents. I mean, that's phenomenal. Can you picture that? Today is the first football game that Dane has ever seen in his life. And it's fitting that it's an Easton Fever game. I can't think of the... If you're going to start to see a football game, this is what you want to see. This is where you want to be. This is the community you want to see it in. We 
we've been coming to this game for about 45 years. Of course, Dave's been a player, and I always came with my dad, and uh, who passed away last year. So it seems a little strange coming without him, but uh, it's a game we just can't miss. There's so much tradition in it. Well, I tell you what, this is something I never thought that I would be seeing, that my son is on this field playing football. And uh, I'm proud of him because, you know, I've been here 45 years, and I used to watch all the games that Eastern play, and this is just like coming home again. Single step back, deep cross to Bergio, picks up the block from Brenninger, turns the corner to the five, so goal to the three! You beat the crap out of them on D. When guys went down, other guys stepped up. You held your part in history, guys. You rolled the hill! Are you going to run a touchdown? Mm -hmm. Let's see you run a touchdown.